Good morning everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Welcome here, we're all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in sustainable ways for the long haul. So if you're new, consider subscribing. All right, today's workout, we're doing cardio strength hit. I know you guys like that combo, but little switch on this guy, it's gonna be incredibly fast paced. All right, here's your format. You've got 30 seconds of work with only 10 seconds to transition, okay? So I'll, I'll tell you what's coming up in the next circuit so that you can like mentally prepare to grab your weights or, or what have you. But it's gonna be like a cardio strength, cardio strength. So that should be really fun. All right, you're gonna require a variety of dumbbells, not too heavy because we are going so fast and rapid. Uh, I think I'll lift up to 15 pounds on this one today. Grab your water and your BCAAs, make sure you have your dumbbells handy, and let's get going in this fast-paced cardio hit. Plus, did I mention that it's gonna be fun? Like, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be fun. Let's do it. Then shoulder width apart. You're gonna start with a squat roundhouse, all right? Get the hip flexors and rotators in the hip area nice and warmed. I'm actually looking forward to doing this workout today. I gave it to some girls this morning and uh, I asked them, I'm like, what would you say this workout is? More cardio, more strength? And they're like, both. So I'm like, okay. It looked fun, but it's fast with the 30 seconds. Okay, last one here. Good, let's take it super wide. Down and squat here. Um, so fast because it's only 10 seconds to transition, but only 30 seconds, we can do that, right? So if it's a burpee for 30 seconds, did I say burpee? Yes, there's some burpees in here. Let's give me some arm circles here. Um, but that's as long as it lasts. I'm fine with that, I can do that. It's the minute that is like, ugh, switch directions. A minute of burpees or a minute of anything is hard, isn't it? I think you'll like it. <laughs> that's, that's hopeful thinking, right? All right, back to the squat roundhouse. Up and over. Good. Now sometimes I just like the exercise to go by faster and we're doing like, uh, five exercises in a circuit, so it doesn't feel like you're repeating them like right in a row either, right? Kind of like that. One more here. All right, take it wide. Yay. Just to warm up the groin area. Good, good. So did I ever tell you about that plant that I had? I showed it in many videos again. It was like my lily plant from last Easter. Well, it's grown all weirdo and long. Apparently, I was supposed to trim it, circles. So, and it was supposed to maybe have a lily this Easter. But I didn't trim it and now it just looks spindly and weird. It's in the corner though, that's why I keep looking over there. My sister's like, did your, did your plant flower yet? No. She's like, oh, did you trim it? No. Didn't get that memo. All right, last one here, up and over. Anyway, so I guess I'll be flowerless in Seattle with my lily, but it looks alive, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> That's not a common theme for me in this household. Plants staying alive. All right, take the wide, low, and up. Blue <sighs> sky out there today. That makes me happy. I feel spazzy right now. <laughs> Am I a little spazzy? I know. I'm like, whoa! I think I'm excited for this workout. Circles. <sighs> Plus I had coffee and pre-workout, so I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. Switch directions. All right, we're getting started. Make sure that your dumbbells are handy. Grab your water, BCAAs. We're ready to go. Here's a sneak peek at the first five exercises. We're gonna start off 
up with a bang, weighted squat jumps. If you want to do it without the weight, round one, feel free. Otherwise, the shoulder width apart. I've got my eight. Let's go. Little jump right there. So even halfway through, if you're like, okay, legs are burning, which will probably happen to me. Feel free just to go into a squat, okay? All right. <laughs> Gonna be fun, halfway. Yay. Whew. Got that squat thrust rotation next. Thrust, could not thought of a better word, eh? I guess not. Woo, okay, shake that out. Squat thrust rotation. A little wider than shoulder width. Squat, turn and press. Start, low, and here we go. Whole complex is next. So, I'm gonna actually grab my 15s for that. Um, everything is pulling. You got your bent over row to hammer curl to upright row. It's a bit tricky because you want to twist your hands. All right. Whew. Start hinged forward at the waist. Get ready for a row, then hammer curl. Here we go. Up, stand, hammer upright. Boom, good. Here, hammer, upright. Diagonal ice skaters are next. All right, set those weights down. Diagonal ice skaters is start at the top, turn back, let's go, and back. This is my favorite. You know that if you've been following me for a bit. Boom. It's fun, right? <laughs> right. And low. Get that handy there. Bring it here. Good. Give me a big jump. Come on. Low. Valley press is next. Okay, grab lighter weights. Elbows start at 90 degrees, press forward and back. Here we go. Reach. This is where you're slowing your heart rate down. We're gonna go right into round two. Again, starting with your weighted squat jumps. Good little burn. Okay, we did squat jumps, let's do it. I'm going back to my eights for this. Ready? Let's start right there. Reach those hips back. This fast movement, I told ya. <laughs> I always laugh at myself. Do I think I'm that funny? Probably. <sighs> At least you know I'm burning and sweating with you, okay? It's not like I'm making you feel pain without myself. <sighs> Last one. Okay, squat. Rotation. Dumbbells up in the shoulders. Let's start. Turn and press. You got your pull complex next. Go into our heavier 15s. Last one there. Okay. Into a row, hammer, upright. Go. Up. Hammer. Boom. Oh, 
Watch your chin on that guy. I gotta take my older son to the dentist some more because he just chipped his front tooth on a glass. Darn it. Okay. I got a little chip in my tooth, but it's underneath from a metal straw. Diagonal ice skaters. You know, y'all trying to save the turtles and such. And then you chip a tooth. I just jammed it in my mouth without paying attention. Now I'm always like, big mouth around the straw. Four seconds, go. Belly press next. Whew, feels good. Palms up. Front press, let's go. Control this. Good. Okay, halfway. Yeah. Round three coming up. Then we'll take a little break, okay? Good, all right, moving back to your squat jump. I'm gonna stick with eights. Go heavy if you want. Let's go. Here it is. Please get down into that squat. Super tall upper body, drop your glutes. Wait. One. Oh, that was work. Squat, thrust, and rotation. Ready. Start. here so he's learning always learning almost there last one yeah okay that was a great start let's take a quick water break and join me for circuit two and here's a look at the next five exercises You're starting with that center jack side squat. You can modify that just there, okay? Get ready, we're jumping, let's go. 
up, side squat. Jack in the center, turn to the side. One girl just wrote me, <laughs> she's like, I'm trying to count how many times I didn't pee during this workout today. And I'm like, yeah, good luck if you're a girl. Good luck. <laughs> I always, you know, just pee a little. <laughs> if we're all in it together, then it shouldn't be shameful, right? I mean, I've had three kids. And I'm old, so, so of course I'm gonna pee a little. All right, whoo, enough information. Let's go into that squat front press. I'm gonna grab my eight while squatting. Push that weight forward. You're there, good. Super tall, in your back especially. It's a hard uh, concentration on this exercise. Hard to push it out when you're in a compromised position at the bottom there, isn't it? Okay, good. Moving into that alternating front lunge. I'm just gonna hold my eights. Feel free to go heavier. I'm babying my hip here. Let's go and alternate. My heart rate is up. Okay, you got your bench over row, the back wing extension coming up. We don't want no back wings, so got to really flex the muscles on that guy. Okay, so you're gonna hinge forward. You're gonna row, turn, kick it out to the side and down. Here we go. Up, turn, kick, in, down, up, turn, kick. Try to come to out to 90 degrees without shrugging, okay? It's hard not to shrug or use momentum. Go lighter if you need. I've got my eights here. Seems to be heavy enough for me. You got your split, split squat coming next. Nice. That was not bad. Okay. Ready? Split, split, squat. Go. Feel free to increase the intensity of this guy by doing two jumping lunges in a squat instead, okay? Always ways to make it harder or make it easier. Halfway. One more. There it is. Okay, going right back into our cardio. You've got your center jack side squat. Starting the top around two. Let's go. Practice this. It's 
hard on the quad. Okay, nice. Bench over row to your bat wing. Slow the breathing. Start up. Kick. Neutral neck. Look at the ground. Once you have the exercise, low. Split, split, squat next. Good. Do you like the 30 second circuit? This is fun, hey? So far, so good. Let's do it right here. And low. I really appreciate your comments. So if you've never commented, like one girl did the other day, she's like, I've been following you for a year. This is the first time I've commented. I'm like, what? Where have you been all my life? <laughs> I'm like, welcome to the channel. She's like, no, I'm old. I love reading your comments. And it helps me um, figure out what to post, what you guys like. So keep that up. What's next, you think? Back to the top. Center jack, side squat. Let's go. And low. Two cardios right in a row there. That wasn't smart, thank you, Trace. Oh well, here we are. Last round anyway. Halfway. Woo. Last one here. Yes. Okay. Moving to your squat front press. Eight, shoulders back and low. Let's work. To make a lunge, come on up. Half. second cardio before your break. Hit it hard. Let's start. Come on. Get low. Boom. And low. That's it. Oh, I feel a sweat. <laughs> I, feel, I feel a sweat drop. I don't really like drip sweat too much. Like not visibly. But I'm sweating everywhere. So don't worry about that. But I have some clients that just pour sweat. At this point in the workout, they'd be just drenched. Some of you are like that too, right? Yeah, I know. Janet always tells me that she's dripping in sweat. I love it. All right, quick water break. Join me back. Okay, 
Here's a peek at the next five exercises. We're starting with that push-up plank jack. Push-up can be done from the knees. I don't know if you saw, but that last exercise, the squat is two separate ones, okay? Let's go. Push-up and jack. So I'm gonna hold it with my right for 30 seconds, then hold it for my left for 30. Fifteen pounds. I do have a 25 pound for those squats that I grabbed during the break. So if you have a heavier weight, grab it for those squats because you'll want to weight those. If you only have lighter ones, you can hold two, okay? Go, 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 go. Renegade row. Tabletop is next. Ugh. Okay. Get down here. Hover over the ground and row. Knees are one inch off the ground. That's it. Try not to rock the hips too much. Whew. Hard on the quads, isn't it? And abs. Okay, yowza. Single arm squat, right. Ready, wider than shoulder, squat. It's a sumo squat here. <sighs> nice and tall though. Okay, push. Hold it on one side, you will feel the one side in the leg is more dominant. Okay, rest. So now I'm switching to my left hand. Left leg will be doing a little bit more work. Ready, shoulders back. Let's go, low. My toes are slightly out but facing the front mostly. Dropping glutes. You're back to push-ups. Oh, that first round went fast. All right, there you go. Push-up jack. Let's start. and not so bent. So if you have issues with them, I'm gonna get them probably this next week, so I'll be sure to show them to you and link them below. They're not the ones that turn. They're, they're really comfortable. And a little springy almost. So I think they're very ergonomically correct. I like it. Ready row. 
Tabletop. Hover. Start. Right side. Start. Drop and press. Halfway. Filming these. Dog after dog. Drop him by, lift his leg. No wonder my dog hightails it out there as soon as I open the door. He's gotta reclaim his property every single time. <laughs> Get low on these. This is the reason we did those squat roundhouse as our warm up. Okay, round three. Get down for that push up. Plank jack. Ready? Start. friend of mine of putting on a retreat and like maybe maybe a week long maybe four nights long but maybe in Mexico maybe in Utah we don't know where yet but good okay, switch sides I want it to be like a fitness wellness nutrition so it'd be very intense switch here we go like much of like what we offer in my six week accountability program. Um, digging deep below the surface 
Lots of great workouts, lots of cooking, lessons, nutrition, counseling, um, psychological assessments and help, one-on-one -on -one chats, uh, group activities. Doesn't that sound like fun? I would love that. All right, last one there. Anyway, we're dreaming, we're thinking. I want you to let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in. One more circuit, stay tuned. Here's a peek at those last five exercises. All right, I've got burpees, wide to narrow, and partial burpees in this circuit. Oh, I'm very yelly. Sorry, starting with the wide to narrow burpees. Let's do it. Jump wide, breathe narrow, just stand. No jump at the top here. Good. You've got your piston push pull coming up. You could use one dumbbell or two. Okay, but that's over. I'm gonna go over two fifteens. You're hinging forward at the waist. Dumbbells come together, touching. Row. Retract your shoulder blades. Pull. Super flat back here. Halfway. Okay, Whew, that was work. Going into your partial burpees. Down on the ground there. Ready? Hands to the feet. And lay back out the plank. Halfway. Shoulder tricep. Ready? Hammer. Shoulder or hip tricep. Up and down. Got it? Pull. Press. Extension. Bicep pulse is next. My hair is stuck to my lipstick. Okay, good. Sit down and release it. Now, feel free to bicycle if this hurts your tailbone, okay? Work. That's what I had one of my clients do this morning because it really hurts her tailbone to sit like this. So if you just went into bicycles, feel free. Pulse this out. Deep -deep. Back to our wide and narrow burpee next. And, whoo! Okay, round two. That wasn't that horrible, was it? No. Let's see how we do this round. Let's go. Instead of my 215s, 
try that. Work up and down. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Knees are soft. So flat my back is. Pull and retract. Partial burpees are next. soft here. Oh, but you only have 30 more seconds left of them. What is that in the scope of life? Whew. Nothing. Reset. Let me grab a drink. I'm going to dry. Ready? Pulse. Without skipping a beat. So after this, we literally have two and a half minutes of work left. What? A lot. We can do this. Not a problem. Come on, come on, come on, four, three, two, one. Okay, last round. Everything you got for that burpee. Wide, narrow, and three, two, let's go. I stand all the way up, straightening my body, straightening legs, squeezing glutes. Don't cheat yourself with this guy. Oh, this is Okay, I'm sticking with that 25 on my pistol, push, pull, let's go. Really pull back and low. Partials are next.
How glad am I that V-sit pulses last? Very. Last one. Uh, okay. Last exercise. Yes. This was a good workout. And very fun. <laughs> Here we go. I had fun. Well, I don't know about you. I felt like it today though, you know? Gosh, that makes a difference. Sometimes it's just a matter of telling yourself, you feel like this, you feel great. <laughs> You're gonna be amazing. You're gonna have so much fun. But I also had a really good sleep. Can't underestimate that. That is for sure. Three, come on, come on. Two, and one. Done, and you have moved daily. Great job. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to be subscribed, okay? If you can join me for a stretch, we're doing it right now. Otherwise, see ya in the next workout. Oh, awesome, that was fun. <laughs> Could I say that more times? Holy Tracy. Let's split the legs, leaning forward, hands behind the back, stretch the chest. Oh, goodness. Um, Nothing really got overly taxed here for me. It was just like a nice little once over, wasn't it? Switch sides. Um, so round through the back. Tomorrow's workout, I would recommend you do either a heavy leg day, okay, leg only with weights, or a heavy upper body. Um, you know what, I would probably maybe do a glute and shoulder even, a combo. That might be a good idea. All right, let's read up and over, stretch the torso, push the thumb to the ceiling here. Yeah, that's what I would do probably. Glute and shoulders. I might actually even just film on tomorrow because I feel like nothing really got overly taxed. Switch sides. But I got a good little sweat and, I, and tomorrow I'd want to do just strictly strength. Keep sculpting those muscles. Which in turn burns body fat, right? So lest we forget that, come to standing, grab your shoelace. You know, I know a lot of people on this channel like the jumpy, hoppy cardio, so you feel like you're sweating, but it's critical to bear weight on your muscles, ligaments, and joints, and, and to really strengthen the muscles and the bone density by lifting heavy weights. That is going to increase your muscle tissue, your lean muscle tissue, switch sides, which makes your body more metabolic, right? Then you can have a few treats and your body is just gonna use that up because there's so much muscle that needs to repair and it uses a lot of fuel through glycogen and energy that you have, or fat, whatever you feed it. And of course, protein is the building block of, of that, so you must eat a lot of protein if you wanna build muscle. Let's sit in that four position here. Um, north of 75 grams a day is good for muscle building. So, I mean, even more than that, if you can. It's hard to get protein in though, isn't it? Switch, oh yeah. Oh, something just flew or ran quickly across my front window there. It's spider season now that it, the spring has come. Oh, my daughter lost it, she had three. She moved downstairs, she was so excited because the 19 year old moved out and she was super excited to have the downstairs bedroom. And day one, she's like, I can't sleep down here. I found three spiders in my room. I'm like, yeah, that's the basement, sweetie. That's kind of nature of the beast. Switch sides. So she's literally half upstairs, half downstairs right now. So I don't know how that's all going to work. It's still spring break. I'm like, can you move the rest of your stuff downstairs, please? It's, uh, so I don't know. She may not. She might just be too arachnophobia. Stretch through the chest here. Okay, you've got a couple things to respond in the comments, don't you now? Let me know if you like the retreat idea and if you would go or if you think we should have it somewhere else. You guys could come to Kelowna. It is beautiful here. Um, but arms back, thumbs down. But Mexico or Utah, we're actually going to Utah this summer to scope it out. Check out the hiking in the hills. Uh, going to Zion National Park. So I'm very excited about that in the 40 degree above heat. Anyway, let me know those comments. Um, Move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. Here's a glute and shoulder workout that you could do. Here's a lower body you could do. Here's an upper, here's an upper body you could do. Pick one and move daily.